Good morning to you. It's 4 a.m. on this Wednesday, March the 6th, and here are today's top headlines. Super Tuesday results still coming in. We are following the latest in the top local, state, and national races this morning. And details on Amtrak's plan to resume train service through San Clemente. Also, we're SoCal. We're in SoCal. A lottery ticket worth more than two million bucks was sold. And a lot of you are like, Rrr. <laughs> Early edition of the KTLA 5 Morning News starts right now. Well, good morning to you once again. I'm Chris Schaub. Good morning, everyone. That could have been you, Chris. Two million dollars richer. I'm actually, I, I, <laughs> I, I, well, I, I'm not the guy that, like, takes a picture and has it on his phone yeah. and knows to look. I'm like, I'll check it later. I'll Megan's check it. Megan's not here. Uh, oh, so <laughs> well, speaking of Megan, I'm Megan Tellis, not Megan Henderson, but I am in here for this morning. We're going to start things off with weather. Henry, good to see you, Ginger, here on traffic, all the good things. Um, I heard earlier this week that rain was coming, but then I had two days off, so is that you still still have rain coming. Okay. Yeah, we'll look outside it could be here as early as this afternoon so uh, yeah get ready for that what you Yay. gonna practice today no <laughs> i have to walk a bunch of little girls home from school and that's it i don't want them what? messing up my house she just needs there. to know what time yeah, yeah. no no it's no, okay we'll sorry no we'll, we'll, we'll keep it away yeah. we'll keep it Bring away an umbrella. By okay yeah we'll, we'll check things out Thanks. we'll do it together <laughs> anyway uh good morning uh on a wednesday getting closer to the weekend and mm. also getting Ooh, closer wow yeah, few clouds along the coast. We'll see some sunshine, some sun peaks early, but we do get to that afternoon shot of rain. We could even see some thunderstorms as well. Most of our morning hours will be spent with clouds beginning to thicken up. We should stay dry. With any luck, most of us will keep the rain away until after uh, maybe 5 p.m. or about 4 or 5 p.m. So I think the odds are in your favor that you'll get through the day, or at least most of us, with just some threatening skies. Really, the chance of rain increases overnight and continues through tomorrow everything clears out of here just in time for your weekend as well so we'll have a complete look at the forecast in a few minutes but cooler today ginger only a high of 58 today in the high desert oh yeah that's chilly our high desert friends my goodness now here's the thing we always talk about how we have one sick alert that cancels and then one pops up the one that canceled was at the 405 and the 101 the brand new one so there's no delay there nothing to worry about but the brand new one is now here until about six o'clock it's our understanding it was a pedestrian who got hit 110 south on side at manchester avenue and so far you don't see delays i mean it's maybe a seven minute uh, old crash and that is it but they are going with the three right lanes that are going to be stay closed here again till about six we'll be talking about it all morning long we will start to see some of those delays let's take you over to look at that 210 the westbound side of your plans take you right here at about Irwindale Avenue where we have this crash it looks like it's still sitting in those lanes so far it's actually a decent right here the same for both the 605 and Azusa Avenue that's the 39 here, and if your plans take you along any of these freeways, we'll be watching and tracking it, especially once that rain may start to move into some spots. All right, guys, back to you. Ginger, thank you. We began with breaking news in the race for the White House. The Wall Street Journal reporting that Nikki Haley plans to end her presidential campaign. It comes after she beat former President Trump in the Vermont GOP primary yesterday. That would leave former President Trump as the last major Republican candidate. Haley is expected to give remarks. That's coming up at 7 o'clock this morning, our time, and we will bring you that live right here on KTLA. Super Tuesday results continue to trickle in hours after the polls closed. Here in California, people cast their vote for presidential and Senate nominees, as well as other local and state races. This morning, we are tracking those results. Here's what we know so far. Republican Steve Garvey and Democrat Adam Schiff will square off in the November election. They're competing for late Senator Dianne Feinstein's seat to represent California in the U.S. Senate. Kate